Hi, I'm Scott Distasio, and today I want to talk about what are signs of substandard care in a long-term care facility. Long-term care facilities are things like assisted living facilities and nursing homes where our uh, elderly loved ones have to go sometimes uh, to have care and treatment provided to them. And most nursing homes, most assisted living facilities provide, actually provide good care, but some of them don't. And how do you tell? What are the signs to look for to identify substandard care? Well, the first thing would be rapid negative change in your loved one. Their personality diminishes. They are evasive in answering questions. They just are lethargic. They don't want to get out of bed or do things. Now, sometimes that's just a natural reaction of their, of their disease process or being depressed, but sometimes it's an indication of something that is going wrong in the nursing home. And it's, it's an opportunity to investigate and figure that out. The next thing to look for is poor hygiene. Now that's never something that should occur in a nursing home or assisted living facility. So if you see your loved one with their toenails that are just not getting trimmed or they're not being cleaned or unfortunately may they just smell. I mean these are things to look for to say they're not providing good care to my loved one. The next thing to look for is skin care, discoloration in the skin and bruising. Now you have to be careful because Sometimes people are on medications that, like heparin, blood thinners, that will create red areas on the skin. But other times, the skin tears or reddened areas are there because somebody, or even bruises, that somebody's handling them roughly or and sometimes even causing um, physical harm by hitting them. And so these are things to look for. Next is rapid weight loss. Now sometimes a disease process will cause people to lose weight and sometimes the loved one isn't eating because they're not providing the food that they should be able to be provided or they need help eating and no one's helping them. So it's something to look for. Is this a natural part of the disease process or is this something that's abuse or neglect? Next is falls. Unfortunately, as we get older, our balance and, and our ability to, to move around in our, our environment diminishes and falls can happen. But when there's multiple falls and there's no explanation, that's something to look for because often if the facility is doing their job, they can find patterns and, and, and why it's happening and put preventive measures in place. Next is pressure sores or bed sores. When loved ones lay in one position for too long, the pressure in those uh, laying in that position can cause actual sores to develop. And so you should be looking under your loved one's clothing to see in places like on their bottom and on their heels if they're developing pressure sores. And lastly, over medication. Certainly our loved ones in, in long-term care facilities, things like nursing homes and assisted living facilities, they're going to be on certain medications. But what you don't want to have happen is the facilities over-medicate them in order to make them docile so they don't have to respond to your loved one's needs. So those are the things to look for with regard to substandard care in a long-term care facility.